and welcome back. As you can see, we are back in a familiar location. Chris is back on the tool. Hello. Did you miss it? Uh, no. <laughs> so, it's been, to give you a little bit of an update, it's been a week that we are now back in Perth that we have left the south of the beautiful Western Australia coast and yeah we basically had to come back to finish off the build it was like constantly in our mind we were enjoying ourselves down south but you know you always think about those little jobs that you need to get done we can safely say that now we have ticked all the major jobs so the build is 99% complete I'm sure there will be like many more things that will add on the road, upgrade. But without further ado, let me show you the newest addition to Bowser build. A completed kitchen, a new tabletop, a new window. And this one makes such a huge difference. We had to close the blind because it's 40 degrees today in Perth, but that was probably my favorite update upgrade that we did this week that is so so cool and basically trying yeah to just move in in the mug we have given a notice to our flat chair we are trying to sell a little car zp right here so yeah, all these little things and we are making plans to leave perth and try to find i guess a route for the coming weeks which we will talk about a little bit later so yeah these are the major modes I'll get Chris after in a sec to explain a little bit what we've been up to. All right, so new tabletop in here. Really, really wrapped with it. We ready? We are ready. The result of your hard work. Yeah, came up so nice. Tiny bit warped, but um, I'm happy with that. Pretty damn good. And I've just uh, spent the last hour or so sanding it, and now and you're going to wax it, I guess, and um, it'll come up really nice. This is Jarrah, if you're unfamiliar with Jarrah, it's a popular Australian hardwood and it's got this really beautiful kind of red colour to it. So we picked up a table from someone nearby for $50, it was very old and really long and a bit warped. So cut it down to size, sanded it and at the moment we've just put a, like a beeswax on it. So um, yeah, this is perfect size now. We had the temporary plywood one, but it wasn't quite wide enough. Now it's easily wide enough to be doing work on so we can get it all the way to us. So um, yeah, really happy with that and it looks really beautiful. And it is 30 mil thick, which is the same as our kitchen countertop. Slightly different wood, of course, but um, yeah, happy with it. I think it's a really nice color and it looks a lot like the uh, Quila shower, drain type tray this so that's that wooden tabletop this we'll be doing at socks the plumber's house so you'll remember him from a few episodes ago he has got some really beautiful german pine that we're going to put up along here which will butt together it's like a tongue and groove joint system we have yet to see it, but um, I'm sure that'll look really beautiful. So we're going to cut that, stick that up here, and then that'll be the whole interior pretty much done. I'll just need to cut some holes for the lights and work out this cable system here. This is the last of the showing aluminium in the entire build, so we can't wait to remove it. <laughs> also got a one litre Jabsco accumulator tank with some more pipe. So at some point very soon I'll be putting that underneath the kitchen and hopefully that'll stop that 
permanent cycling that the pump's been doing. I think that'll do the job. All right, so closer look at this window. So come with me. <laughs> Natural light in here now. <laughs> Cooking as well, there will be some good airflow. Oh, yeah. This has just made such a phenomenal difference, as you can already tell. This was quite dark and dull in here. But yeah, we've cut exact same Eurovision window as we've got everywhere else, but like a cute little baby one, and it really opens the space up, hey, Ange? Yeah, I yeah. love it. It's made, made such a massive difference. And then you've got the kitchen. so naked <laughs> no comment good push so these drawers we were putting them off for a while and they're really nice so um yeah very very happy with that we've got two small drawers one very big drawer for everything and then this is a false cupboard that pops off and then we can access all of the plumbing now one thing we really noticed when we were away was the toilet leaking when the shower was on so for now what we thought was the best idea is we've gotten basically a clear piece of plastic it won't normally live here but it's velcroed along the edges and when we have a shower we literally just cover the toilet with that that saves me just spending ages and ages chasing leaks on this toilet we just cover it have the shower and pull that plastic thing off and put it outside now one thing I very, uh, I basically I neglected to mention is how that flood happened. So we were driving of course, we don't have a camera back here so we couldn't know that it had happened. This button here is our pump. I didn't realise that that is something you turn off, it makes sense now. But um, so normally I have that turned off. But what had happened was that was on, we went driving, this guy somehow came off fell and as it fell it's picked this up so turn itself on fallen out of the shower onto the ground here is where i found it and it was spraying water up onto the bed at nine liters a minute and it dumped 200 liters of water and i could tell that because our tapaji our water gauge told us so but as you can see no damage so we're so lucky what other stuff have we done Ange? well we can show we actually haven't showed that this is where 
we store shoes for now and other kind of like miscellaneous items on the so mm -hmm. that's pretty handy. So I think. shoe storage that goes all the way back through. We can access some more from that side. I've shown the cupboards here to you guys and Chris has done some gastro yesterday. Gastro. So we had to change we had got 80 Newton ones from Bunnings. 100. These are oh, 100 Newton ones from Bunnings. These are 50 Newton ones. So they open slower but they don't blow the hinges off. Yeah, so much better, so that's better. worked much much better. We've got some new little jars trying to organize the pantry, which jars. is really nice. We've got another one of these to put up, one of these IKEA magnet strips that'll go here. And we've got some really beautiful knives to put there on the wall, which will be great. Put a thing in the shelf. So in here, we've noticed that sometimes we don't put glass jars here when we move, but this lip wasn't here. So I've put this tiny aluminium strip here and on this shelf here as well and that stops things sliding off and almost looks perfect you know. And before our trip we had put some double sided tape as well on the glass so that there's no movement of that glass shelf when we drive. Yeah so um, very very happy with the fridge so far. Uh, a few of you have been asking how that's been running. That uses, uh, we can't even tell really what power that's using during the day. Overnight it will sometimes use between like 10 and 20% of the battery. And then by mid morning that's charged back up again from the solar. We have put this lip in here. That was Sox's idea because before it was just a lip and you could actually trip and just end up on the ground. That would have been really, really bad. So this lip has made that much better. We've changed this. To a nicer mat. We've also changed this panel here which was this composite. Now it's wood because this was kind of denting in with the pressure. Bed system has been brilliant. It's still kind of a two-man job because we've got the the anchor bolts that we put in. So Ange jumps on the couch puts those in when I put the bed up in the morning. But um, yeah that's been fantastic. I'm really really happy with that. The Energrive system was amazing. You can hear the fan on at the moment because it's such an incredibly hot day. The DC-DC is on. Normally that's completely silent. That has been brilliant. And um, now we've actually noticed the MOGS generator will actually give us 30 amps when we're driving. We thought it was only giving us 15, but it's been giving us 30. So that has been well and truly enough really, I guess. Uh, the generator being kind of like the MOGS version of an alternator, by the way. Ah, another thing, we've changed the seals on the door. They were on the actual door frame itself, and the seal was actually a little bit too thick. The seal we got from Styramax. So we have put actually a smaller, thinner seal on, put it on the door itself, and now the door actually shuts much, much better. And it's not this real fight. It was kind of grinding and grabbing before. We've replaced a couple of hinges, and uh, now that's much, much better. So I'll show you what we've done outside. So this is something I'm pretty stoked with. Now, no more red lip. All right. So I painted that sandy top and painted the insert on the outfit sandy. And I think it looks much, much better. What do you guys reckon? The red was starting to annoy me. It just it stood out in photos. It just wasn't right. So um, yeah, that's all done. There's the window from the outside. It lines up to the top of the other window. So that's the alignment we went with and happy with it. This has not been plumbed up yet. I'll do that on the road. We're waiting for a couple of things to arrive. This side, we've made some panel uh, like blocks so that we can put them under the tires to level the truck if we need to. Lots of stuff really. All right, so just came back to the mark this morning. We had a first end crisis. So they came like all the way. So they basically climb on top of the stairs and make their way along here. You can see there's still so many. We try to be very mindful with the pantry to have everything stored in boxes. But unfortunately, I think a few weeks ago, there was a bit of peanut butter left in the pantry that wasn't cleaned properly. My fault. And as well, I guess a lot of like little breadcrumbs on the bench top from yesterday. So that is a little bit problematic. So we're trying to give him 
some uh, sugary sweets outside the mug. They don't seem very tempted so far. Hopefully that works and they can leave the mug because yeah, I don't know, like I guess it's something quite common, but yeah, what do you do with ants when they happen to you? Like do you have any like special product or anything? That would be good to know because I'm sure it will happen again. What time is it? It's ginger beer time. Why are ah. we having ginger beer? In our house. But why? Because we're done. We're we done. Need to go. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Oh. <laughs> ah, here it is. So we're gonna crack our first ginger beer of the year. Yeah. Is it? Just sold a little car zippy. Okay. Just gave our flat. Come on, Ange. You're under pressure, let's go. <laughs> I can't open it with one hand, it's really hard. I did it, I did it. Yeah. Uh, and cheers. 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 Mm. So in the next like two or three days, we're on the road full time, baby. Oh, it's a Finally. good feeling. But yeah, in the next, I guess, yeah, a few days, just chill, do a bit of work so that these disappears. And Oh yeah, the road Let's is go. ours, road warriors. And this is the first time that we have officially connected to mains for electricity and we are running the aircon. This is the best spot in the house. Oh, it's like 42 degrees today in Perth, so that's amazing. So that's good, that's what I was able to test it. So thank you again. Socks, if you're watching, you are a legend. We'll show outside what's going on. Chris is experimenting. Mm -hmm. We're thinking as well, maybe trying for the first time the ton water pressure supply. pressure supply, so that we make sure that everything works before we leave for good. So this is a little hatch. We can still access all the plumbing under. If Chris remembers which manifold is what, oh, I do. Good. So this is the device that you need in order to connect the amphibian connected to the 15 amp inlet. And now we are connecting the water for the first time. All right. What do we have here? So normally this is where we hook up the hose so that we can fill up our tanks which we'll probably do tomorrow, but right now it's probably best to just test the other possibilities. Okay, should I go inside? Yes, please. So right now the pump is on. No, I have the pump off. Pump off? Yeah. Okay, pump off. You're opening the water. The in the system. So the tap works well. Now let's have a look at the shower. So this is where now we put the shower head so that we don't have any incident, if you know what I mean. That's great. Working? Works perfectly. Yeah! Who's on first shower? You are, my dear. Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty. So I've never done that before, so this is the first time I'm practicing. This is my it new, pretty straightforward. Very flash invention. So we put that on both sides. Bit of rock, right? And then up on the. Underneath. Nice. And then that corner there, it's needs to go up and same on the other. I see. Done. All nice. right. First test. So I'll have the shower and then we'll see if we still have some leakage. No leakage. No one likes leakage. <laughs> no, we don't. Especially yes. 
Okay. All right, see you on the other side. You enjoy. <laughs> for me, beer time. Are you ready for the reveal? Let me switch on the light. Ta-da! Hey! Look at that! That so, looks so much better. So this is recycled German pine, uh, tongue and groove, that Sox gave us. And man, it's so nice. It was a real mission to get it up here, but it's... Made a it's huge really difference. We're really difference. happy with that. And it hasn't brought the total height down too much at all. No, so it took us, what, two days to uh, do that job. It, it was a bit longer like the planks were like a little bit I guess warped so we had to uh, try the iron uh, to make it straight didn't work so it was just like clamp and lots of like sanding cutting the putting it on the aluminum was actually the challenge that was hard so socks come up with the idea of putting webbing straps over the aluminium on the top of the bed frame and stapling this up so that it tuck right in and then we could glue it and that worked really really well yeah, so it's no, nice and solid up here it has added to the total weight of the bed when i lift it but it's still manageable and um uh, and then we just lock it on the pin so that the load is off the pulleys and uh, yeah well, we're really happy with it and chris wired the full lights which are the same so it's everything on the dimmer yes everything's on the dimmer then we also cut our table edges into yeah. a octagon and now it is much easier to get it's out it, yeah. without hitting this big corner here so we're very happy with that we've also got a another magnetic rack from ikea with some really beautiful german steel knives so huge thank you to patron for those knives um we kind of treated ourselves that'll hopefully get me cooking in the kitchen a little <laughs> bit more maybe as well so um yeah thank you to patron for that that was what we spent their hard-earned cash on this month so that's been really nice and we did some other stuff as well what did we do Ange? you installed the accumulator on the yes. new here that see. has <laughs> fixed the cycling issue uh, perfectly so that is all complete and in the actual camper we haven't done too much more have we Ange? the interior is actually finished the interior now. is a hundred percent finished we're done we're actually hitting the road tomorrow we're doing Full the last time. chores today picking up parcels and things like that but we're done no matter what good is good enough and in that case actually great is great enough <laughs> yeah and there's and one more thing on the outside there's that a we few can little show. things i did on the outside as well so um... then more importantly this flapping door issue the stay is working really well but there is too much movement in it so we've gone eye thingy another eye thingy and then we can strap the door to there very easily and that stops all that flapping about so um that's been perfect as well so all of our jobs are complete as you can see the camper is still white <laughs> which a lot of you are asking are we going to keep it that way no we are not but we can't afford to either wrap or paint it yet so it might be white for a little bit longer <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> and just trying to give me a hug and i'm running away and um yeah, at the end of the day, it's not what's important. Uh, we've got the livable camper now and, and yeah. the truck itself is working really well. So we will hopefully have that color changed soon, but not quite yet. Yeah, but yeah, in the meantime, that's all done. So yeah, I guess next week's episode will be hitting the road. We've got a rough idea of where we're going, but yeah, we'll talk about that, I guess, next week. Yes. So thank you everyone for the support during the build. It's been amazing. Can you imagine how far we've come? I'll put like, maybe at the end of this video, I'll put a little photo of the before when we first got the truck, just so that you remember as well, because you probably forgot too. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've come oh, long, yeah. long way. So yeah, thank you so much everyone. Thanks and for putting we'll up with us. See Thanks you so. next week. Full timers. Yay. Cheers guys. Bye-bye.